CA PPM Skills Hierarchy. This recording shows how to create and utilize skills in the CA PPM application. This demonstration shows how to add new skills to the Skills Hierarchy, assign skills to resource profiles, and finally, how to search for resources that have specific skills. CA PPM Skills can help resource managers quickly identify resources who have certain skill sets. Appropriate resources can then be appointed as staff members to an investment. Applying skills to resources will show the abilities outside of a resource's primary role. We will review how to create skills, assign skills, and then use skills for suitable resources to staff to an investment. We will begin by building the skills in CAPPM. Point to the Administration menu. Under the Data Administration menu, click the Skills Hierarchy link. The Clarity application is initially installed with no skills on the list. In this example, skills have already been added. Click the New button to add a new skill. From the Create Skill page, enter the skill name, the skill code, select a parent skill where applicable, enter a description, and check the active box to make the skill available to be assigned to resource profiles. You can then click Save or Save and Return. We have created a skill which will be used as a parent skill. Click Save and Return. When you create a skills hierarchy, you create skills which act as parent skills. Parent skills are generally more generic in content. To create additional skills, click the New button. When creating a new skill, you can assign a parent skill. Click the Browse icon in the Parent Skill field. Choose the parent skill from the Select Skill dialog box. Click Add to add the parent skill. The Select Skill dialog box will close. Enter a description, activate the skill, then click Save or Save and Return. The Skills Hierarchy page displays the list of skills. Skills cannot be removed from the skills list. However, a skill can be modified by changing the name, description, and the parent. Skills can also be deactivated. The hierarchy is created through the parent-child relationship. The parent skill column indicates if a skill is assigned a parent. Parent skills are typically more generic. To filter for a specific set of skills, enter a value in the Parent Skill field by using the Browse icon. The Select Skill dialog box appears. This box displays skills that currently have child skills associated with them. Select the associated parent skill. Click Add. The parent skill is added to the filter criteria. Click Filter. The filtered listing is a result of the skills which are associated with the development parent skill. Once the skills are created, you can assign them to resources. To assign skills, navigate to the Home menu. Under the Resource Management menu, click the Resources link. From the list of resources, click on the resource name in which you want to assign skills. The Resources main page is displayed. Click the Skills tab. Any skills assigned to the resource are displayed. Click Add to add skills to the resources profile. Select one or more skills to add to the resource and click Add. Enter a skill proficiency, interest, and weighting value. These three values are not required. However, resource managers can use these values to filter for resources that have a certain level of skill expertise from within the Resource Finder screen. Select the proficiency value that applies to the resource for this particular skill. Select an interest value. Select a weighting value. Skills can be added or removed from a resource's profile at any time. Click Save to save the skills and their values. Resource managers access the Home menu where they can search for resources with specific skills from the Resource Finder page. Under the Resource Management menu, click the Resource Finder link. We have expanded the filter in the Resource Finder list. In the Skills field, use the Browse button to find skills. Select a skill. 
To apply the Skills Filter feature, you must select Specific Weighting, Lower and Upper Proficiency Boundary, and Interest Field Values. Click Add. The field is populated with the skills requirements. Click Filter to apply the skills filtering. A list of resources that match the skills requirements is displayed. The Skill Match column displays a weighted average between the skills and percentages entered in the filter and the skills and percentages indicated in the resources profile. If both availability and skill criteria is entered in the filter, the Total Match column will display an average of the two. A resource manager can filter by the skills, availability, role, and other criteria to search for and select a suitable resource to staff on an investment. This video has included demonstrations on adding new skills to the skills hierarchy, assigning skills to resources, and finally, how resource managers use the Resource Finder to search for resources with specific skills.